What is the Nematrix? Who created it and why? How many alien forms does it have? Is the Nematrix better than the Omnitrix? Can a human use the Nematrix? All these questions will be discussed in this video as we look at every Nematrix predator alien. Let's start by looking at what the Nematrix is. What is the Nematrix? The Nematrix, a device from the Ben 10 series, is the predatory counterpart to the Omnitrix. Created by Dr. Psychobos for Kyber, it transforms wearers into alien predators, targeting Omnitrix species. Unlike the wristwatch, Omnitrix. The Nematrix is a collar, highlighting its danger to sapient users. It features a stabilizer for autonomous transformation and can evolve aliens into ultimate forms. Despite its power, only non-sapient beings can safely use it due to the risk of severe biofeedback. The Nematrix's introduction added a thrilling dynamic to Ben 10's battles, embodying the concept that for every prey, there exists a predator. Why was it made? Dr. Psychobos and Malware made the Nematrix. They used parts of the Omnitrix to make it better. Their goal was to beat Asmuth. Later, Albedo joined and added new features to it like the ability for aliens to evolve into their ultimate forms. The Nematrix Aliens. Now let's look at every alien in the Nematrix starting with Bug Lizard. Bug Lizard is a fascinating alien from the Ben 10 universe, originating from the planet Lepidoptera. As a Nematrix DNA sample, Bug Lizard is designed to be the natural predator of the Lepidopterans, such as Stinkfly. This creature boasts a striking appearance with a white, black, and red color scheme equipped with sharp teeth, a row of red spikes down its back, and a tail with a red-marked tip. Bug Lizard powers are impressive, featuring enhanced strength, agility, and the unique ability to emit a yellow fog that neutralizes its prey's defenses. It also has remarkable fire and heat resistance, making it a formidable opponent. Despite its strengths, Bug Lizard has a vulnerability to electricity. This alien made its debut in The More Things Change Part 2. Showcasing its predatory skills in various encounters throughout the Omniverse series. Bog Lizard's design and abilities emphasize the predator-prey dynamics in the Ben 10 world, adding depth and excitement to the series' alien ecosystem. Next up is Crabdozer. Crabdozer is a unique alien, known for its incredible power and formidable presence. Originating from the star-like planet Pyros, Crabdozer is the Nematrix's DNA sample of the predatory species targeting pyronites, such as Heat Blast. With a body resembling a cross between a crab and a rhino beetle, Crabdozer boasts enhanced strength, durability, and speed. Its horn and spikes make it a fearsome opponent, capable of smashing through barriers and resisting fire and heat. Interestingly, Crabdozer can also survive in the vacuum of space and uses fire-suppressing saliva to combat pyronite enemies. Despite its strengths, it has vulnerabilities, including getting stuck in lepidopteran slime and being sensitive to electricity. Crabdozer made its first appearance in The More Things Change, Part 1, showcasing its role as a predator in the intricate ecosystem of Ben 10's universe. Next up is Hypnotic. Hypnotic is a standout alien from the Ben 10 series, a DNA sample from the species Psycholeopteran, native to the icy planet Kilmes. This creature serves as the natural predator of the Necrophrygians, such as Big Chill. Hypnotic resembles an oversized insect, akin to a moth or bee, featuring a purplish-gray body, sharp fangs, and a unique dual-stinger tail. Its abilities are as mesmerizing as its appearance, capable of flight at speeds comparable to Big Chill and generating a hypnotic mist that can induce hallucinations in its victims, making them see their deepest desires. Additionally, hypnotic can turn intangible, allowing it to pass through objects effortlessly and is immune to extreme cold. Despite its ghostly powers, it can be countered by super-tangible containers that negate its intangibility. 
Hypnotic's debut in Malefactor showcased its hypnotic combat tactics against Big Chill. The name Hypnotic cleverly blends hypnotic with tick, reflecting its ability to captivate both foes and fans alike. Next up is Musilator. Musilator is a Nemetrix alien with an unknown origin. Its appearance is that of a large, grotesque frog with a body covered in adhesive sacs. These purple patches allow Musilator to trap its prey by releasing sticky larvae. Despite its bulky frame, Musilator is surprisingly fast and durable, capable of withstanding heavy attacks and charging at high speeds. It targets Orthopterans such as Crashhopper, making it a formidable predator. Musilator made its debut in It Was Them, showing off its unique abilities against Crashhopper. The name Musilator is derived from Musilage, reflecting its sticky, gum-like abilities. This alien adds a layer of complexity to the predator-prey dynamics within the Ben 10 universe, showcasing the diverse and sometimes bizarre forms life can take. Next up is Omnivoracious. Omnivoracious is a unique Nemetrix alien from Ben 10, derived from the once thought extinct species on Galvan Prime. Resembling a giant bird with grayish, ostrich-like features and spiky purple feathers, this alien boasts a serrated beak and sharp claws, optimized for hunting. Its agility and flight capabilities make it a formidable predator, notably being one of the few capable of outsmarting the intelligent Galvans. This attribute, combined with its enhanced speed and strength, positions Omnivoracious as a top-tier predator in the series. First appearing in Showdown Part 1, Omnivoracious highlights the predatory challenges faced by even the most intelligent species in the Ben 10 universe, making it a standout character in terms of both design and narrative impact. Next up is Kyber's Panuncian. The Panuncian is a predator from Hathor, notable for its self-duplication power, similar to Ben's alien Ditto. This ability is key for using the Nemetrix, allowing it to face multiple Omnitrix aliens simultaneously. With enhanced strength, agility, and sharp features, it's a formidable hunter. First seen in A Fistful of Brains, it demonstrates strategic combat skills, especially against Splixen such as Dito, its natural prey. Despite its might, it shows fear towards dogs and can be overwhelmed by large volumes of water. Kyber's choice after losing Zed, the Panuncian emphasizes the predator-prey dynamics in Ben 10. Next up is Slamworm. Slamworm, a Nemetrix alien, is a slamoid from Poyana Luncus. With a worm-like body, it excels in acid spit, digging, and has sharp teeth. It appeared first in It Was Them, targeting Talpadans such as Armadrillo. Its abilities allow it to dissolve metal bodies and burrow rapidly. Despite its size, it's vulnerable inside its mouth. This predator showcases the diverse and dangerous universe of Ben 10, highlighting the natural enemies of Ben's alien forms. Next up is Terrorantula. Terrorantula, a Nemetrix alien, is a predator from an unknown planet. Resembling a four-legged spider, it specializes in creating force field webs to neutralize prey like ball weevils species. With sharp legs and enhanced agility, it's a formidable hunter. First seen in Of Predators and Prey, Part 1, Terrorantula highlights its hunting prowess. Despite its strengths, it's vulnerable to high-pitched noises and its webs can be neutralized by absorption as shown by feedback. Next up is Tyranipede. Tyranipede is a Nemetrix alien from Terradino, designed as the predator of Vaxasaurians, such as Humungusaur. It resembles a massive theropod with centipede-like segments, boasting web generation, immense strength, and durability. Introduced in Of Predators and Prey, Part 2, it's known for overpowering foes with ease and trapping them in sticky cocoons. Despite its formidable nature, it cannot alter its size or withstand the Hephaestan neurogrip. 
This creature underscores the predatory balance within the Ben 10 universe, showcasing the natural checks even for the mightiest of species. Next up is Vicetopus. Vicetopus is an intriguing alien from the Ben 10 series, originating from the planet Encephalonus Afar. It's part of the Nemetrix. Vicetopus looks like a dark red octopus with powerful tentacles and a beak-like mouth. Its abilities include stretching its tentacles to great lengths, remarkable strength, and a resistance to electric attacks, making it a formidable predator of cerebrocrustaceans such as Brainstorm. This creature made its first appearance in Showdown Part 1, showcasing its predatory skills. The name Vice Topus cleverly combines vice, highlighting its strong grip, with octopus, reflecting its appearance. It stands out as a specialized hunter in the diverse Ben 10 universe, emphasizing the predator-prey dynamic.